Hi Tony, I'm Isabel from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you today. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> so congratulations on this fantastic film. I mean, what was it about the script and yoga, obviously, <laughs> as a big draw that made you want to get involved in the project? Uh, I think just originally, uh, you know, we just worked on the favourite together and then he had this book and I read the book and really, you know, he's such a great director, I'm sort of like, well, whatever you want to do, I'll, I'll do it. Um, but I really loved the book and I thought it was a great story of this, I thought it was crazy because it was a sort of a Frankenstein movie, but it was a real sort of coming of age movie about a young person trying to grapple their way through the world. And it was a way to tell that story in a way it felt like hadn't been done before and I knew he his vision for it was kind of extraordinary, so it was just like a, a I was very happy to go on. And I believe that Alistair unfortunately died, passed away before this yeah. film. So he made such a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it is a shame. Yeah, he died a few I years ago. I wonder what he would have made of this. I don't know. I saw his son in New York and his son really liked the film. And, but I don't, I think he wasn't sure. He, said, he thought it could have gone either way. So what was it like? I, I really believe it's been a real collaborative process for you guys all from the start. And what was that like? Working with like fabulous Emma Stone and, you know... Yeah. Well, I really think we're just well. It's just been a, a lucky joy. It's like we've all found each other as collaborators, and uh, I feel like her and Yorgos are like some amazing creative two of the force together. So yeah, I think we all. I think that's what Yorgos is good at: bringing together really like-minded artists and finding a way to get the best out of them, and maybe getting more out of us than we know is possible. You know, there's so many layers to the story. I mean, it's the macabre, like you say, it's part Frankenstein, part Elephant Man. It's got so many layers to it, and and the filming, you know, is so so unique. You've got sort of fisheye lens, black and white. I mean, my goodness. So, what do you think you're most proud of when you look back? I think I'm just. What am I most proud of? I think that we that we got to do it. <laughs> I mean, I think when I first... It's a really wild film in a lot of ways. And I don't think... Uh, I don't know. I mean, kudos to Searchlight for... It's a studio film and it's really a wild ride and it was a big ask. And it's, you know, thanks to Ed and Emma and Yorgos that they got it made. So I'm really just proud to be part of it because I think it's a really, just watching it from as a viewer, I'm like, it's a really great film. Yeah, amazing. You know? Well, I hope you enjoy your evening at London Film Festival. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you. No